Hey everyone, welcome to this, your next installment of the Golden Gate Tech Talk series. This is your source for informative and timely tech topics about Golden Gate software, data replication, and cloud data integration. The industry-leading data replication software for more than 20 years, Golden Gate is still innovating today and helping thousands of leading brands get the most business value out of their data. As a multi-cloud capable replication engine, Golden Gate helps customers maintain seamless integration across their public clouds. But what makes Golden Gate really special is the breadth and attention to enterprise class solutions for databases, cloud, big data, NoSQL, and streaming technologies of all kinds, not just Oracle. Golden Gate's rock solid foundation is the best in class for data high availability, high speed transaction replication, and data warehouse loading. But modern data challenges require the most innovative solutions and Golden Gate delivers on world-class data lake congestion, stream data processing for real-time ETL, and advanced stream analytics that include geofencing, time series processing, and machine learning integrations. As a platform for modern data integration, Golden Gate just can't be beat. Well, that's about it for the intro. Let's get on with today's tech topic. Hello, my name is Thomas Wengel, and I'm going to demo you the features of Oracle Golden Gate for Big Data. Especially in this demo, I'm going to cover the OCI Object Storage Handler uh, target. So here is a demo scenario. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run Golden Gate for Big Data Replicate on an OCI compute node, which is provisioned from the OCI marketplace. And um, I'll write those data that are stored from a local trail file into OCI Object Storage. And now I provision an instance from the OCA marketplace um, for Golden Gate for Big Data. And I go through the steps of provisioning the uh, uh, instance. And I get my instance provisioned. And I get my public IP address. OK, so now I'm going to SSH into um, my machine. And I log in there. I look for my location. It is Homo PC. So here I'm going to download my OCI Java SDK. Okay, so before that, I just want to uh, talk about how we do this configuration. So for this, you need to understand uh, where the Golden Gate Big Data documentation is. And Golden Gate Big Data documentation is this particular URL. Um, and uh, the OCI object storage handler details are inside the file handler uh, documentation. So you click the file handler documentation uh, and um, then you will see the details about um, OCI object storage. You can see that Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Event Handler. And um, there are a couple of prerequisites that you need to do. The first thing is you need to download the um, OCI object storage infrastructure handler and uh, assign the uh, class path in the, in the uh, uh, code. So let me first download uh, the OCI object storage handler. So I'm going to uh, get this file from the GitHub. So if you need to get the uh, URL, you can go to the documentation here and uh, you can get the URL for the this particular uh, SDK. So once you click here, you'll get the uh, downloading SDK from GitHub. So you to open up the various different releases and you can search for the 1.4.0, which is certified with Golden Gate 19.1. And you can download uh, this like I've downloaded this and I've unzipped this uh, files into the OCI Java SDK. And the Golden Gate for Big Data is pre-installed in Big Data directory. So you can see Big Data. So this is the Golden Gate Big Data installation directory. And OCI Java SDK is installed in this directory. Um, what you need to do is you can you need to do um, create a directory called as dot oci and okay now that you have created uh, the oci directory you need to go to cd oci in this directory and we need to create two key files uh, for the next step 
and how to create the key files um, you can go to this location SDK and uh, how to create the fingerprint we will have these commands called as OpenSSL GenRSA with no phrase you can run this command and then you can create which creates a private key and then you can run a public key with this command so um, so you have these two key files that are created and then you need to create this config file and the config file should be in the this particular format we could copy this file uh, copy and then you know edit the file called as the config and you can create this file so so remember that this default uh, is a must even if you are creating only one so you need to fill in three four details first one is user id fingerprint key file and the tenancy ID. and the details of each of them are available in this um, uh, web page uh, what is an user id user id is the oci id for calling the api and you can get it from the oci console for the user id you need to go to your profile and you'll see you'll see the oci id here you need to copy that and paste it in the oci id section similarly uh, once you upload the public key uh, into uh, this public key section you'll get the fingerprint so you need to specify that fingerprint here and the key file is uh, located in your dodo ci directory and the tenancy you'll get it from the oci cloud from the administration tenancy details so here you get the oci id so you can use the oci id to all right so once the configuration file is prepared you need to go to the um, big data directory golden gate for big data directory and uh, create the configuration files there so cd uh, dot slash slash you are inside this file uh, directory and here you will create two different files one is the parameter file and one is the property files you will have the manager uh, file already existing there you can see the manager port is set to I think 10,000 and um, here we'll also create an OCI OBJ PRM file as a, um, it's a pretty small file where you create the replicate name and then you defined the um, property file where the property file is going to come from the specific golden need for the data property file and the rest are you know standard uh, uh, basic configurations of a replicate mapping the source to the target and group transfer by thousand and report count by every one minute so now you need to have the OCI object property files so for that um, an easy way is to go to the adapter examples and copy the files and let me show you where that is CD adapter examples CD data CD file writer and here we have the fw.props So once you go into the file, it's a little big file uh, with multiple configurations that are mentioned in. So this is a simple file writer uh, configuration with additional uh, event handlers to Parquet, ORC, Amazon, Web Services S3, and also the OCI event handler. So we should be using the OCI event handler part as well as the you know the general file list handler and if you need to format it use the parquet or the org format and also the last part uh, which mentions the golden gate user exit and the class path so the class path is an important property that uh, should not be missed 
along with the Java Writer Boot Project. So just copy this file to your DRPRM. So you copied the file and now we are going to edit the file with the specific properties. So I will call it as the OCI OBJ properties. And in this file, I have the file writer handler, and I'm, I mentioned it as you know, write in JSON format. And um, OCI use the OCI event handler with uh, the configuration file path from this particular uh, config file and namespace uh, for the tenancy and the compartment ID that I have mentioned here, the data center region. And the path mapping template, I'll mention it as, you know, dollar schema name, it will, it will create it as dynamic format. And I've created a new um, template called as Thomas Bucket 1. And this bucket does not exist on my object store. So it does not exist today. Since it does not exist, it should automatically create it. And I said, okay, my file should be in the format of table name underscore current timestamp. Okay, so that's the configuration. And uh, also added the class path to OCI Java SDK dot lib as well as OCI Java SDK dot uh, third party. And the rest of the other uh, properties are uh, as default. Okay, now that the configuration file is created, I'll come out of this directory and uh, I will have to export the uh, LD library path for with this particular command LD library path on the OCA marketplace image. And I've exported my LD library path. Now I should be able to run GGS here. So without exporting that, I might get an error in the GGS here. So I'm in my GGS here and see what is running. So my manager is not running. So I start my manager and I'm going to add a new replicate uh, OCI OBJ with the train files that is uh, coming from the example directory called as uh, uh, TR or uh, prefix str so my replicate is added and um, now i'm going to start my replicate and i can see my object storage uh, replicate is running can see that uh, total inserts are 5, updates are 3, and uh, deletes are 2. So total 10 operations are done already on this. Okay, so that means my work is done, but the file has not appeared here. It will take uh, 1 minute for um, it to appear. So the first stage is move the files into a local directory, and then after 1 minute it gets consolidated and pushed into the OCI uh, object storage. So, um, uh, I can see that these two files were created in my DI route. So once the file gets uh, moved into the object storage, I can see that the file uh, not disappears. Okay, so the file disappeared here. Now let me refresh it. Here I can, I can see that there is a bucket called as Thomas bucket that is created here and inside that bucket I have two of those files which you saw here got moved in and I can download and see uh, what is there in this file. So I download my first file and I can see that there are one, two, three uh, inserts uh, that are there. And let me download my second file. 
okay you can see that you know multiple inserts and um, updates and deletes are here in this file as well so that um, quickly uh, shows the demo and also I have um, some additional uh, resources for you here um, where you can um, you know look up um, for additional uh, details including the product documentation the pages and the and the location to download the SDK and the certification thank you Hey everyone, thanks again for tuning in to this edition of the Golden Gate Tech Talk series. Be sure to check out all the other cool tech talks that are out there and stay tuned for more as they become available.